Hello YouTube and welcome back to my road to glory. Let's get into it. Today we're actually going to be doing something different. There's no point of me choosing better teams if I can't play the game properly. So today we're going to be looking at the new features that were added in today's game. There were three things I actually wanted to look at, which were the directed runs, the directed pass and go, and the player lock. Always on the screen, you should be able to see my controller. So from there, uh, you'll be able to see what I'm trying to do. I'm going to be trying the mechanics. Let's see how it goes. So I think I'm going to pick actually beginner because I just wanted to make sure I get the mechanics down and then we'll try it in a more difficult game. Uh, currently, uh, I saw a lot of my players moving a, couple, a lot of my players around, so I'm just going to be using players that I found in my club. So this is like the best team that I can find. I unlocked the Hamas Rodriguez because he was good and I can see him getting many more informs and he was cheap enough. So he's definitely worth it for the price. The other team shouldn't really matter much because I'm just going to be trying to play around with my movements. So one thing I actually want to change is that I, I want to see if I'm able to do the movements correctly. So I think if I do show mechanics and get rid of this, nope, not that, this. So I only have directed run showing to see if it's going properly. Okay, so the first thing I'm looking at is directed run. What I've seen is that basically I would have to point at the player that I want to run with the left stick and then click L1 and make their movements with the R3 stick. So I'm going to be looking at that over there. I'm going to click and run. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay, okay. So let me try this again. I look at him. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So the trainer won't be able to be seen in online play. It's just been seen in offline play. So this is just good to get practice on. So let me try. If I look at him and turn run, I think if I click him, I can actually change his direction. Nice. Now I actually want something like that direction. Oh, that's sweet. The other thing I actually wanted to try out was the directed pass and go. I think how this works is that I just pass and then I choose a direction. So let me see. Let me pass and change. Oh, so he opens up for me. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, that's too late. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. I know like uh, variations to these mechanics were made in the previous games as well, but what this one's what this game really gives us is the 360 view. So really, really cool. And then the last thing I want to do was player lock. How I see this work is that you lock on a player with clicking L3 and R3, clock. So you see that? So once I pass the ball, the AI controls that, and then I control the other player. The only problem is that the AI is in tight space, it'll probably lose the ball because it's a very basic thing, but it's very good if it's like wide open and I want to make a specific run. So let me just click on Mojica, center him, and I really want to run to this other side, and I click the pass button, and he'll pass it to me. So if I pass it. Okay, okay. I think the other mechanic that I was, I'm playing around with is that, okay, so if I do a player lock, I change, and I want to get rid of the player lock. I think I just click again, both of them. So that's kind of good if I want to like, if they're in a tight position, so I pass the ball and then I don't want it anymore and I pass. Okay, okay, okay. So the other thing that I was actually looking at is that I think if you just want the player to run forward, which is this has been in the previous games, is that rather than like giving the direction, I think you just look at a player and click on it and he just runs. So the what was added in this game is that when you click on him, you can change the direction. These are things definitely to just improve uh, your game. And yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing this. I need to improve my game and not just make it a bigger, better squad, but actually improving my gameplay. So definitely we'll be using these new mechanics in the game. How to take advantage because I've seen other players use it, how the players move around, which is not natural to the AI. And yeah, it just makes them better than me. It gives an advantage that I didn't have. So I have to use all of these me mechanics to make sure I'm winning all the games. All right, all right, good start, good start. I mean, obviously it was gonna be easier when there's no pressure. So now I need to be using it when there's pressure. All right, so I'm gonna try it again in squad battles so I can see the runs, but now I'm gonna try something more difficult. So let's try this 
uh, it, this higher rated one. Uh, let's try... Ooh, there's only FIFA. You're an expert. Uh, let's try World Class. Ooh, Arthur in the middle. Basically, La Liga. So I want him to run. Him to run. He ran, but I didn't show the arrows. Pass the ball, make Hamas run. Perfect. Oh, did you see that position? That's exactly what I need in the game. Let's run. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, nice, nice, nice. <sighs> Scored on me. No. What? What just happened there? He didn't get contact with the ball. I'm getting destroyed. What? So bad. He trying these mechanics, just ruining me. So I put the one Zapata to run. Ah, oh, that was a good play. That was a good play. I think this is going to be a huge improvement for the medium, medium, and medium low work rates because they tend to not move as much when they're passing. Um, so th this would definitely get them moving and this would give more options for players that usually you wouldn't use because a striker that is medium attack rate sometimes is really bad because it does make the runs, but now you can make him do the runs. There we go, put Hamis to run. Oh, what a play, what a goal. And that's all because the, the run. Run and let's put me through. Nice. Nice. Goal? Oh, come on. I have to score that. No. We continue the game. I guess there's no draws in squad battles. Sorry, haven't done squad battles in a while. Nice. Alright. I guess we gotta score in the second half. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's a penalty. Trying to block the shot. Uh, um, oh, he hit the post. Nope, and he scored. Okay. Alright, I guess we're going to penalties. Should be, should be good. I think they moved ahead, right? Because I think he's moving his head to the right. So let's try moving right. Yeah. So right now he's moving his head to the center, I think. Oh, I guess it doesn't always work. Let's switch it. Oh, that's weird. Um, basically, when I switch positions, um, the circle got bigger. Usually, that doesn't make a difference. Let's see. Stutter step. Up. Oh, that's time finishing. Okay. Sorry, I thought I would be able to do the stutter step. Let's go. Oh, he missed it. That's it. Winner! Yeah! Alright, so one last thing I actually wanted to do is see if we can do any rifles. That's when you know if you can or not. So let's try it out. Alright, see this team. Oh, he has the hammers as well. Cover Lewin. I scored, but <laughs> I didn't do the mechanics. I wanted to make him to make the run. Nice, 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 nice goal. I changed the formation a bit from last game as well. Uh, it was a little bit too wide for me. No, oh, no, no, that's speed. Oh, I didn't pay attention that that was Gareth Bale. If now would shot off his left foot. So he did the run there. Nice play, nice play. Yeah, it's all because I did the run with Hamis to gain position. Oh, he did do the run. Psh, 
<laughs> I was gonna say, what? Nice, nice, nice. I told the player to run back. And he ran back, because usually the right backs and full backs like getting up after they do the pass, so getting back and open. That makes it really good. Put Hamas to run. So he could be in that position. Ah! Ah, oh, what a goal. Now I didn't defend that properly. Nice, give and go. Not exactly how I wanted to go, but that was the right idea. What a pass. What a pass. Let's see if I can get it to Duvan. Oh, what a save. What a save. Oh, I need to score that. Oof. What a shot. What a shot. Uh, oh, what a save. Oh, come on. Defender got there. Ah, oh, so many chances I could have scored and I didn't. Oh, and he won in the last second. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> no. He mechanics are hard. I can't, I, I have to get used to him. I gotta have to get used to him. Alright, and that was me trying out the new mechanics from FIFA 21. Um, comment below if you want to see something more like this. Uh, there's defending, there's skills that I want to imp improve, so I might make more videos in this direction. Click the like button if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm going to be bringing more of this kind of content in many different kinds. So tell me which ones you guys want to see more of and maybe less of and I will cater to that. Thanks for watching.